Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and I am here as we march on in our bad Kansas City Royals 2025 season. You might recall that the season started in 2023, and uh, we haven't gotten better, really, at all. In fact, we were better. We had our best record in the first season. Let's take a look here. Um history manager history you can see in 2023 we were 70 and 92 and then in 2024 we dropped to 58 and 104 and now we are 41 and 73 currently at game 114 which is roughly the same pace that we were playing at in 2024 so not very good um, and then if we look at the standings again you can see we're at the bottom of the AL Central 41 and 73 uh, no teams really close to us. Um, you know, the Rangers are five games better. The Phillies are five games better. Um, and then if we look at our statistics again, offensively we're tied for fifth in runs. And we are 14th in average and 13th in home runs. So we're not too bad offensively. It's our defense and pitching that's terrible. We're 30th in ERA, 30th in strikeouts, and 30th in defensive efficiency. So that's all bad. And we are going to play Boston today. Now, Boston is only five games better than us, and as we can see, they are 19th in runs, 5th in average, 27th in home runs, 21st in defense, 24th in strikeouts, and 24th in defensive efficiency. So... We may have a chance of winning this game, this particular game, 115 on the schedule. And we are going to go to the game with that. Uh, the lineup for Boston will be Colton Kowser in left field leading off. Marcelo Meyer will be the shortstop batting second. Masataka Yoshida will be in right field and batting third. Tristan Casas will be the first baseman batting in the cleanup spot. Blaze Jordan will be the DH. Nathan Hickey will be the catcher batting sixth. Sedane Rafala will be the third baseman batting seventh. Trevor Story will be at second and batting eighth. And Corey Rozier will be the center fielder batting ninth. Pitching today for them will be Brian Bellow. He is seven and five on the year with a 431 earned run average and a 135 whip. We are going to line up as Gavin Cross leading off and playing right field. Michael Massey at second base. Now batting second, Bobby Witt Jr. will bat in the third spot and play third base, and he is cold lately. Juan Soto will bat in the cleanup spot, play left field. Caden Wallace will be the first baseman, batting fifth. Nick Lofton bats sixth, and he'll play shortstop. Tommy Troy will be the DH today. Mo Hampton Jr. is going to be in center, and Selvi Salvador Perez will be the catcher, batting ninth. We have Randy Vazquez on the mound, 5-8 and eight with a 544 earned run average and a 152 whip. And so with all of that having been said, let's start the game. We are again at home in Kauffman Stadium, and I have to fix the uh, views, obviously. Let's see here. Uh, let's see. Initial camera view, we're going to go with um, center field close. And um, the pitch camera, uh, we're going to go with, well, the pitch camera, let's see. Uh, let's make sure we can get the pitch camera here. We're going to go with the, uh, let's go with the home plate camera for that. And, um, and then the action camera view will be, Um, action camera will be, we'll do the wide camera for the action camera. All right, so this should make everything the way I want it, and so let's pitch to the batter. We're going to get our view of Kauffman Stadium. Two strikes on the batter, one ball and two strikes. And that is going to be a single. So Kowser leads off for Boston with a single. There's a man on, no outs, and 
Marcelo Meyer is the batter. And he is going to pop out softly to the shortstop. So there's one down with a man at first. And Masataka Yoshida. And hopefully that's a double play, and it is. So we're out of the inning. Nice inning there. No runs allowed, and we are going to be at the plate. And uh, going up against Brian Bay, I think it's pronounced Bayo, not Bello. And uh, Gavin Cross will be the batter. Hitting 297 this year, he is. And that might not be a base hit. It's going to be a pop out to second. And Michael Massey. Michael Massey having a pretty good year for us. And you can see it's dusk starting to get dark. He flies out to center field. And Bobby Witt Jr. is the batter. And he is going to rip a double down the left field line. So I guess he came in cold. Maybe this will get him out of the funk that he's been in. So we have a two-out double by Witt. And Soto up at the plate. I wonder if they'll walk him. No, they will not walk him, but they didn't have to because Soto just grounded out to shortstop, and we got no runs as well. So we're going to the second inning in a tie game at zero. Boston, again, not very good. Tristan Casas is the batter. Left-handed batter. And he's going to strike out. He swung real late on that one. Didn't see that one coming. Blaze Jordan. I don't even know if Blaze Jordan is real. Uh, but he strikes out, whether he's real or fictional. And Nathan Hickey, the catcher, is the batter. And he's out. So, uh, yeah, that was a nice quick inning for... For our man and uh, Caden Wallace will bat here against Bayo. And he's out. He strikes out. Nick Lofton, the shortstop. And Nick Lofton gets a base hit. Ripping a base hit for Nick Lofton. Let's see if we can put something together here and get something going with Tommy Troy up. And Tommy Troy is going to pop out. So there's two down. And that'll bring up Mo Hampton Jr. And Mo Hampton Jr. hits a slow dribbler to third, but he's out. He can't beat it out. And we go pretty quickly ourselves, and we're uh, up in the top. The Boston's up in the top of the third inning with Sedane Rafala batting. And he's going to pop out to first base. So there's one down quickly. And uh, Randy Vasquez is working real quick here and real good. That's going to be a grounder to short, but it's misplayed by the shortstop, Lofton. So uh, they got a guy on, and uh, Rozier is the batter. And Rozier is going to hit a shallow single, but... They will hold the runner at second. So runners at first and second, one down, and Colton Kowser back to the top of the Boston lineup, and he's going to rip a base hit, and that might score a run right there. Um, yeah, because it was a terrible throw. It was offline. So Boston has a one-run lead with Marcelo Meyer, the shortstop, batting. Maybe this, no, will not be a double play. Uh, it didn't need to be anyway, but uh, we got out of the inning, but we allowed a run to Boston. So Brian Bayo is pitching to Selvi. Salvador Perez for his first at bat of the game, and that's going to be a single. Selvi is aboard with Gavin Cross up. And Gavin Cross is walking. Nice. So we got the first two guys on here with nobody out. And Michael Massey, a really good hitter, lefty on righty. And uh, that is going to be a nice base hit. I don't know if Selvi can score on that. And he can. Selvi, not known for his speed at his uh, advanced age, but he does score. And uh, Bobby Witt is the batter with still two on and nobody out now. And that's going to be a fly out to right. So we got one down. 
Runners at first and second. We're in a tie game at one. And Juan Soto. Let's see what Juan can do. And that's going to be a pass ball. Pass ball moves the runners over to second and third. Still only one out. And uh, a uh, two to two one count on Soto, but he is just going to dribble it off to the pitcher and be out at first, with no advancement by the base runners. Runners at second and third, and Caden Wallace the batter, and Caden Wallace got a base hit. Maybe that can score the second guy too. We're going to take a two one lead at least, and we do take a three to one lead. He does score both base runners with that, so the pass ball was. Pretty critical for Boston there. And Nick Lofton is the batter, and he is just going to swing right over it, and he's out. But we did strike for three in the same inning that Boston got one. So we have a 3-1 to one lead with Vasquez again not pitching too badly, but he is using his bar up pretty quickly. That should be a deep fly, and it is. Deep fly to left. One down. Tristan Casas. And he is going to fly out to right, so there's two out quickly. And uh, Vasquez needs this if he wants to get through the fifth. And uh, that's a strikeout, so he's out of the inning. And uh, we're going to the bottom of the fourth with a 3-1 lead. And Tommy Troy, the DH, up. Tommy Troy ripping the ball right past the first baseman. It ate him up. It ate up Casas. He couldn't play it. So, Mo Hampton Jr. is the batter, and he is just going to, wait a minute, what happened there? He's out. All right, but he did advance the runner. So, we got a guy at second with one down. Selvi up. Selvi got a, got a hit, I think, his last time, but now he's striking out. And we're back to the top of the order with Gavin Cross. And he is going to strike out. So we don't get any runs, any more runs there. We're going to the top of the fifth. And uh, Vasquez will be dealing to Hickey. That's a strikeout. So Vasquez is on top of his game today, uh, despite the fact that he has a 533 earned run average. He is pitching quite well today. Two ball, one strike count, and that's going to be a single past the shortstop, Lofton. And uh, Trevor Story. Trevor Story is going to walk. So we got they've got two guys on with only one down. We need a double play or a strikeout or something that doesn't advance anybody. That won't advance anyone. Flat shallow fly ball to center. So there's two down for Colton Kowser. Colton Kowser, of course, on the Orioles, or was on the Orioles in real life, but uh, or I think he still is. But in Out of the Park, he's on Boston, the division rival of the Baltimore Orioles. So Bale will be dealing to Massey to lead off here in the in the Kansas City 5th, bottom of the 5th. And that is going to be an out. The second baseman just got to it and threw him out. Bobby Witt Jr., the third baseman, up at the plate. And he is going to be out. The second baseman will throw him out. Second baseman busy this inning, and let's see what we can do here. It's going to be a ground out to third. So we're out of the inning pretty quickly. We still got the 3-1 lead. I'm going to try to get um, I'm going to try to get Vasquez through this inning, through the sixth. It would really be helpful if he could. And that's going to be a goner. It's going to be a home run for Boston, and they make the score 3-2. Let's hope that that was just... That that wasn't Vasquez tiring or being tired. But that is going to be a home run as well. And so now the game is tied. Maybe it's because he's tired. I don't know. But he really hasn't hit the red zone yet. So there's a strikeout. Nice. One out. Still want to try to get him through this inning. It is 3-3. In fact, we don't have anybody warming up. And so we should really try that. But that's going to be a home run. My God, Boston has just jacked three home runs in this inning to take a 
4-3 lead. Now there's two outs, though. I think he can get through the inning, but he's definitely going to be done after this. And he does strike out the last batter. So Boston scored three, and they take a 4-3 to three lead. We've got to try to get that back, but we first definitely have to get somebody up. I'm going to get Matt Strom up. He's the only guy that really isn't the least bit tired. And um, Caden Wallace will be the batter. I'm going to hope Strom can give us some innings, and not only that, but some good innings. There's going to be a double. Is that a double? Yes, it will be a double. Lead-off double for us. Which brings up Nick Lofton. Nick Lofton uh, is going to hit a ball right up the middle, and we might score a run on that. And we do. Yes. Nice. They threw home, and so we've got a runner at second with no outs, and now the game is tied. That's going to be a slow roller to short, which will be an out. So we got one out, but he moved the runner over to third. So we got a guy 90 feet away with only one out and Mo Hampton Jr., the batter. And what happened there? Oh, okay. Do you want to send Nick Lofton from third to score? The ball is in average outfield depth, and Lofton is a good runner. I'm going to say yes. And it worked. We scored the run. So Salvador Perez is up. Base is empty with two out. And that is not going to have the distance. It's going to be a fly ball to center. But we took a lead here, a 5-4 lead with two down. And now I am going to bring Strom into the game. Hopefully he can hold it right where we are. But that's a 3-2 count on the batter. That'll be a ground out to first base. And he throws on to Strom for the out. One down. This is lefty on lefty. I like that. Let's see if he can make the play. He can. There's two down quickly. Strom, pretty effective here in the early going. And uh, Colton Kowser, the batter. And he's out. So Strom, very effective in that inning. He gets uh, the side, the Boston side, one, two, three. And we're in the bottom of the seventh with a one-run lead. And <coughs> Gavin Cross is the batter. Gavin Cross, is, he puts it right. It's a seeing-eye single between first and second. Which brings up Michael Massey, a good hitter. Lefty on right, and he is going to fly out to right. So there's one down. And Bobby Witt is up, and Bobby Witt hits it right between Casas' legs. And that is going to be second and third for us with only one down. And up steps Juan Soto. They did not want to see this. And they walk Juan Soto. Understandable. The bases are loaded with only one out. We can really bust this game open right here with Caden Wallace. And we do. That's going to be a base hit. I guess the infield was in, and so that is going to score two runs. And we're going to take a bigger lead. We're going to extend our lead here to 7-4. to four. Runners at first and second with only one out and Nick Lofton, the batter. And Nick Lofton. Look at that. Nick Lofton with a long single. That should score another run. And it will. He rips a double, and it is 9-4, so it scored two runs, and Tommy Troy is the batter. I think Strom can handle this. That's a strikeout, though, for the, for the second out, and we have Mo Hampton up. And Mo Hampton is gone out of the park, did he? Did he? He did. 
Mo Hampton went deep, and now, yeah, I think Strom's got a good handle on this. Because we're ahead 11-4, 11, 11 to 4, and Selvi is up. So that'll be another win for us, which will be good, it looks like. I mean, you know, I don't want to... Again, our pitching is terrible, and so is our defense. But, oh, oh, they made an error, and they allow Selvi to go to second. Or, or Perez. Was it Perez? Uh, or wait, I don't know. Anyway, Zach Davies dealing to cry. I don't think we have a Perez. So that was, Sel I think, Selvi. And that's going to be a deep fly to right, but that will be the third out. We have an 11 to 4 lead. And Strom on the year has a 679 earned run average, but his uh, bar looks like it can get him through the eighth. If he can pitch well, and he strikes out the first bat, he's lower on that ERA by the by the batter. One down, and that'll be a, a slow-rolling single. That's our defense at work right there, or not at work. And um, Tristan Casas is the batter. And uh, there's our defense, not at work. Massey couldn't get that that uh, looping uh, pop out just above his head. I mean, it wasn't a pop out because now the bases are loaded for Boston. I thought maybe Strom could get us through this inning. I don't know though. Now that's going to be a deep fly, but it is an out, and uh, Run will probably score. But that's fine. We have uh, we have runs that we can afford to give away. I just want Strom to get out of this inning, but he hits the next batter and loads the bases. And he is in the red zone, so I just want him, like I said, out of this inning. The catcher jumps out, um, Selvi throws him out, so Strom did his job. I mean, he gave up a run. But we're going to warm somebody up. Uh, we're going to get Brady Singer up in the pen. Brady Singer having a bad year, so obviously moved to the pen, but we have a big lead still. And we may be able to extend it here. Who knows? Massey is up. And Massey is going to hit the ball over the center fielder's head. For a double. Now, I would say I would sacrifice here except that the batter is Bobby Witt Jr. I don't think you sacrifice with Bobby Witt Jr. and after him it's I think Soto so you don't do that either. So there's one down. Massey could not move off of second and Juan Soto is the batter and Juan Soto goes downtown shopping and we extend the lead again. So now it is 13 to 5, and we've got Caden Wallace up with one down. And Caden Wallace is going to hit a single. So offensively, again, offensively, this team is fine. It's just that our defense and our pitching is terrible. Lofton is going to fly out to left. That'll be the second out. And that brings up. Zach Davies, and Zach Davies is, well, that doesn't bring up Zach Davies. He's pitching, but that was a fly out, so we are out of the inning. Uh, but we did get another run, and we're going to go to the bullpen, and we're going to bring in the very bad Brady Singer. Um, as you will see, Brady Singer on the year, 78 innings pitched, 118 hits allowed, and a 793 earned run average, but I think he can handle this. He's got an eight-run lead, and he is relatively fresh. He uh, probably doesn't have as big a bar because he is a little tired from pitching recently. But he got the first out, and he got the second out. Brady trying to lower that ERA, trying to bring it down and close this one out. And that's going to be a shallow pop out to second. So we Brady uh, Singer comes in and pitches quite well. We'll take a look at the box score. And it was a pretty box score. Lots of hits. We got uh, 16 hits and 40 at bats. Left 18 on base, though. But still, they only got 10 hits and 35 at bats. 
Vasquez went six, allowed four runs for a 547 earned run average on the year and the win. Strom got a hold. He went two and allowed a run. And Singer went one. And so we will leave the game with that. And we've got another win. And we'll finish today. And that will be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.